Hi, I'm Courtney Greger with My Flipping Job, and today we're going to do a master closet makeover. We have the closet prepped and ready to go, and we are going to time lapse the installation so that you can see what it takes to get this closet turned around into a masterful, inspired space. We prepped the space by removing the existing shelves and patching the holes that were left behind once the shelving was removed. We had purchased two closet kits from Lowe's, which maximized shoe storage, which was really important to me, and added extra space to hang clothing. Lisa, my handy gal, and I assembled the kit and then started the process of custom fitting it into the space. Once the large storage tower was assembled and pushed into place, we realized we could reassemble the existing top shelf and add additional storage that we had not counted on. This was a definite bonus in the space. When we first started, the closet was messy, it was unorganized, there wasn't enough shoe storage, and there wasn't enough storage for anything else or miscellaneous items. Now, the new storage system allows plenty of space to display and store shoes. There are extra display areas for showing off great handbags or just more shoes, and two extra drawers to hide away things that you don't want on display. We added decorative storage boxes on the top shelf for out of season items, handbags, more shoes, or other items. We added more hanging rods for hanging shorter items such as tops or pants, as well as higher rods to accommodate dresses and longer items. We added a soft silver ottoman to sit on while putting on your shoes, but the ottoman can still be tucked away under the bottom shelves when it's not being used to maximize the space in the closet. The top shelves now accommodate bigger items like luggage or large containers that I use to store hats. We also added a full-length mirror I purchased at Target that is tucked out of the way, but is still great for checking out your final look. When I was designing this closet, I thought, wouldn't it be great if there was a space in the closet where you can actually see what an outfit would look like before you actually put it on? Because I don't know about you, but for me, I will put an outfit on and go, ugh, that's terrible, or ugh, this needs a new top, or a different belt, or whatever. So what I did in my closet is I put in two separate hooks where I could actually pre-plan an outfit before I put it on. So if you see here, here are the two hooks, one here and one there. I hung a pair of pants. I put a shoe up there to see what the shoe would look like. And I have the blouse ready to go. I accessorized with a really cute little necklace. And I can see kind of what the whole outfit looks like before I put it on. Thank you for watching My Flipping Job. For more tips and techniques, you can follow the My Flipping Job page on Facebook or look us up at myflippingjob.com. As always, thank you for watching and see you on the flip side. When I decided to design... Oh. When I was, and I put a little inspirational quote to go with it that said, life is about creating yourself so that every day, wow. <laughs> That's great. Hi, I'm Courtney Greger and welcome to this week's episode of My Flipping Job. Today we're doing a master closet remake. Remake? Makeover? Oh my God, I'm so bad. And this week we are going to be doing a master closet remake. Makeover? Master closet? I need to stop this.